Ever wondered about the thin line that separates justice from crime? A question that echoes through the annals of human history, across civilizations and cultures. It's a question that exposes the inherently complex relationship between crime and justice, a relationship often shrouded in shades of grey, where one often begets the other. Consider the world of law enforcement, a realm where justice is sought relentlessly, a bastion against the chaotic world of crime. But within this world, crime is not just a menace, it's also a catalyst, a catalyst that pushes the boundaries of justice, forcing it to evolve, to adapt, to be better. This constant dance between crime and justice, this perpetual chase, this is the lifeblood of agencies like the FBI. Now imagine the intensity of this chase, this dance, amplified to its extreme, when the criminal in question isn't just any run-of-the-mill lawbreaker. No, we're talking about a man who has earned himself a spot on the FBI's infamous Top 10 Most Wanted list. A list that represents a unique blend of notoriety and infamy. A list that has seen the likes of Osama bin Laden. A list that now includes one Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez. Villarreal Hernandez, also known as El Gato, a man wanted for interstate stalking and conspiracy to commit murder for hire. A man who's believed to hold a leadership position in the notorious Beltran Leyva drug trafficking organization. A man who embodies the complexity of the crime justice relationship, blurring the lines between hunter and hunted, between criminal and lawman. And so, as we delve into this intricate dance between justice and crime, we invite you to join us on a journey. A journey that will take us into the heart of darkness, into the life of a man who stands on the precipice, straddling the thin line between justice and crime. And so begins our journey into the life of one man who straddled the line, Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez. Born into a world where survival meant power, Villarreal Hernandez quickly learned the rules of the game. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, also known as El Gato, was not merely born into a world of crime, he was shaped by it. His early life, like many others, steeped in the shadows of illegalities, was a roller coaster of survival and power struggles. The streets he grew up on were not just pavements and buildings, but a labyrinth of life lessons, where the only rule was to survive. His introduction to the criminal world was not a matter of choice, but a circumstance of survival. The underworld was a brutal, unforgiving place, and to rise above, one had to be more brutal, more unforgiving. Villarreal Hernandez was no exception. He learned quickly, adapted faster, and soon found himself deeply entrenched in the world of crime. His criminal career took a significant turn when he crossed paths with the infamous Beltran Leyva drug trafficking organization. With an insatiable appetite for power, Villarreal Hernandez saw an opportunity and seized it. His intellect, ruthlessness and ambition caught the attention of the organization's leaders. They saw in him the potential to move their operations to new heights, and so, Villarreal Hernandez began his ascent in the ranks of the Beltran Leyva organization. He proved himself time and time again, executing tasks with an efficiency that was both terrifying and admirable. His reputation grew, his power increased, and with it, his influence over the organization. His rise to power was swift and unimpeded, but as he climbed higher, the stakes grew larger. Villarreal Hernandez was not just playing the game anymore. He was the game. He had become an indispensable part of the organization, a man to be feared, respected, and above all, obeyed. But with great power comes great risk, and Villarreal Hernandez was about to learn this the hard way. In 2013, a chilling act of violence would catapult Villarreal Hernandez onto a stage he never desired. Picture this, the tranquil community of South Lake, Texas, known for its quiet neighborhoods and family-friendly atmosphere, became the backdrop of a crime that would echo through the annals of the FBI's most notorious cases. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, known in criminal circles as El Gato, allegedly orchestrated a chilling act, a conspiracy to commit murder for hire, shattering the peace of this unsuspecting town. Villarreal Hernandez allegedly employed a method as sinister as it was invasive, interstate stalking. This was no ordinary crime, it was a calculated play, a chess game of sorts, where the hunted was unaware of the hunter. The implications were far-reaching, the modus operandi revealing a criminal mind that was both complex and cold-blooded. 
an individual living their life in the Lone Star State, was being shadowed, tracked, and targeted. The hunter watched, waited, and prepared to strike when least expected. This was not a random act of violence, but a carefully planned and executed operation, a testament to the chilling precision that Villarreal Hernandez was willing to employ. Suddenly, the FBI's criminal investigative division and local law enforcement agencies were on high alert. This crime was not only a threat to the safety of the people, but also a bold challenge to the very fabric of justice. It transcended the boundaries of common lawlessness, putting Villarreal Hernandez squarely on the FBI's radar. The quiet man from Monterey, who allegedly held a leadership position in the Beltran Leyva drug trafficking organization, had crossed a line. His actions had transformed him from a man of interest into a person of national concern. The crime had not only changed the life of the victim, but also that of Villarreal Hernandez himself. One act, one decision, and suddenly Villarreal Hernandez was no longer just a criminal. He was a fugitive. With a federal arrest warrant issued in 2018, the hunt for Villarreal Hernandez officially on. The wheels of justice, slow but relentless, began to churn. The FBI, along with local law enforcement agencies, kicked off a nation their quarry, a man known only as El Gato, a nickname that translates to the cat, a fitting moniker for a man who had thus far proven elusive, slipping through the fingers of law enforcement like a shadow in the night. The United States Department of State's Transnational Organized Crime Rewards Program stepped into the fray, offering a sizable reward for information leading to Villarreal Hernandez's arrest. One million dollars, a stag a testament to the gravity of his alleged crimes and the urgency of his capture. It was a clear signal to the world. This was no ordinary criminal, and these were no ordinary circumstances. But despite the efforts of the FBI and other agencies, Villarreal Hernandez remained elusive. His ties to Monterey and Mexico City in Mexico, as well as his alleged leadership position in the Beltran Leyva Drug Trafficking Organization, suggested a vast network of resources and safe havens at his disposal. The hunt was not just a chase, but a complex game of cat and mouse, a dance of shadows and echoes in the criminal hunt world. The manhunt was a testament to the dedication and tenacity of law enforcement agencies. It highlighted the complexities and challenges they faced in their relentless pursuit of justice. It was a stark reminder of the dangerous and often thankless task they undertook risking their lives in the pursuit of a safer world. Yet, at every turn, it seemed Villarreal Hernandez was always one step ahead, his trail growing colder with each passing day. But as the world searched, Villarreal Hernandez remained a ghost, a specter haunting the world of crime and justice. As the days turned into weeks, then months, then years, the hunt for Villarreal Hernandez continued pursuit of a phantom menace, a testament to the unyielding resolve of those who seek justice against all odds. And then he wasn't just a fugitive, he was one of the FBI's ten most wanted. The label itself carries a chilling weight, a testament to the perceived threat posed by Villarreal Hernandez. Earning a place on this notorious list is no small feat, it's a clear sign of the imminent risk that the individual poses to national security or public safety. The FBI's 10 Most Wanted Fugitives list is home to some of the most infamous names in the criminal world, Osama bin Laden being one of them. The crimes committed by those on the list are diverse, spanning from bank robberies to acts of terrorism, painting a grim picture of the depth and breadth of their malevolence. Villarreal Hernandez's inclusion on this list is a stark reminder of his alleged crimes interstate stalking, conspiracy to commit murder for hire, the gravity of these offenses is underscored by the fact that the United States Department of State's Transnational Organized Crime Rewards Program is offering a reward of up to $1 million for information leading to his arrest. Notably, the FBI's list has a striking success rate of 93%. Almost 500 out of 530 fugitives have been captured, largely due to the cooperation of citizens. The list's effectiveness in apprehending fugitives is a testament to the power of collective vigilance, 
a reassuring thought in the face of such daunting criminality. But let's not forget, Villarreal Hernandez isn't just a name on a list. He's a man, believed to hold a leadership position in the Beltran Leyva drug trafficking organization, with ties stretching from Monterrey to Mexico City. His actions, his choices, have led him here, to this list, to this infamy. So we end where we began, with a question. What is the nature of crime and justice? And how does one man, Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, embody their complex dance?